Hey, sweetie, can you hear me? <laughs> That's fantastic. Everything is going according to plan. After six months seeing you and memorizing the time you wake up, what time you take the bus, how long you spend sitting doing your work, how long it takes you to have lunch, I even know what kind of books you use to complete your works. And... Wait, you can't see me? Oh, don't be worried, darling. Take some time for your eyes to adjust to the beautiful darkness of the night. I mean, I'm surprised because I'm... Right in front of you. Wow, look out. You almost fell off your chair. I really would have worried a lot. Because I don't want to have a beautiful body of yours, honey. Well, that might sound a bit hypocritical because your hands are tied. <laughs> but don't worry. I didn't tie you up too tight. Now, can you see me? Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> finally, after weeks and months, we finally see each other face to face, beautiful. Do you remember me? Oh, wait, you don't remember me? <laughs> what an idiot I am. Of course you don't remember me if I haven't introduced myself to you yet. Let me refresh your memory a bit. I'm Zan. Nice to meet you. Uh, did you forget about me? But if we were classmates during high school... Oh, well, I don't blame you. During those years, I never had many friends. And I didn't associate with many people either. But since then, I started to feel something for you. Yes! If it weren't for that, I wouldn't have developed my wonderful plan for us to finally meet again. Yeah, I know. I'm a brilliant mind, right? Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, I've never felt this way about a person before. So, during our last year together as partners, I was thinking about the way I would declare my infinite love for you. But just when I was going to do, I had to move to the city. That disappointed me. But back then, the school year was ending, so I didn't have many options. Because of that, I was repressing my emotions for a long time. Distant. Cold. Not very empathetic. That was what people said about me. And one day, when I was tidying my room, I found our yearbook for that year. So I started to review it. And they were all there. Do you remember Jack? The math genius of the class? Now he lives four hours from here on a trailer. <laughs> so pathetic. Well, what about Penny? The star cheerleader of our grade. Now she lives in Europe as a yoga teacher. That wretch makes very good money, you know. Oh, and don't forget to... <sighs> Wait. I think I'm going too far. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. And then I saw your name. And your photo. I... <laughs> I can't... I can't describe... <laughs> The emotions that I felt upon seeing you again. You're so beautiful now. I mean, you always were, but now you look like a deity. Those eyes, that nose, the shape of your ears, the smell of your hair, the way you breathe, the look you have now, everything about you. Is absolute perfection. <laughs> the truth 
truth is that I could talk all night about each and every one of the positive aspects that you have. But I have to tell you at once about the reason why I... Um... I have you here locked up. Sorry, I didn't know what words to use. <laughs> yes, that was it. Words. <laughs> So, I have a proposal for you that you cannot refuse. You become my Christmas present this year, and I will spoil you as much as you want. Yes, you heard right, darling. I will buy you the things you want, I will prepare your favorite meals, I will take you to a thousand and one dates, you will be treated like a person of royalty. If, in exchange, you stay with me. Hey, I also understand that you have been having problems with your life, right? Don't try to hide it from me. I know everything. I know it. Don't worry, darling. I'm here for anything. Even if a problem is small for me, it can be big for you. So don't hesitate to tell me if something is wrong. <laughs> I'm glad you accepted my help. You want to ask me something? Go ahead. This place is not my house. <laughs> but it really is my house, silly. I mean, this is for shed. But my house is really big and comfortable for two people. A living room, two bathrooms, kitchenette, eating for the winter... It is a really nice house. Where did I get the money for this house? Oh, don't worry about that. This house was abandoned a few years ago, so I took possession of it. And I did all the paperwork so that this house is now in my name. <laughs> did you think I had murdered someone to keep a house? Hey, I may be a stalker, but not a murderer. But... I think it's better if I untie your hands and you check it out for yourself. Okay? Nice. Just let me undo this knot. And that's it. Come. Take my hand. I'll guide you. So, what do you think of the house? Is it cozy? Yes, I knew you would love it. Look at that fireplace. Perfect for not getting cold in winter. And what about this sofa? Big and soft. And it's also your favorite color. And look, I recently bought a futon so we can be together and relax without thinking about anything. And on top of that... Wait, it's 2am. Well, we seem to have lost track of time. I knew it would take you a while to wake up, but I didn't know if it would be up so late. So I think that maybe you should go to your room so you can sleep. Alright, follow me. <laughs> well, we're here. And, ta-da, your new room. I tried to exactly replicate your bedroom so I didn't miss it too much, but with a few improvements. For example, now your bed is twice as big as your old one, and your closet is also twice as big as your old one, so you won't have trouble putting your things away. Now, would you like me to accompany you in your bed? Why? Because I recently found out that you're having trouble sleeping. So why not have some company with you? Thank you. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't do anything inappropriate. The most important thing for me is your comfort, sweetie. Are those your pyjamas? You look gorgeous. It suits you very well. Well, everything suits you excellently, darling. Okay, close those beautiful eyes for me, babe. 
<laughs> Sweet dreams, babe. Hey guys and gals, Zan here. Um, just wanted to say uh, thank you for listening to this audio. Um, hope you enjoyed it, all of that stuff. And um, yeah, uh, how are you guys doing today? Uh, you guys having a good day? All of that stuff? Yeah? Um, my day's been fine, I guess. Nothing crazy. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, just, um, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to fucking say. My, my day's been fine. It was very boring, but it was fine. Um, yeah, uh, another Christmas audio, this is like the third one that I've recorded. Um, the one's going on Christmas Day, one's already out by the time this comes out. I think I'll, <clears throat> I think I'll put this out on like the 19th or something. That's probably a good idea, I don't know. I don't want to do too many, but I don't want to do like too little. I mean, I, I don't, I don't want to like do too many, but I, I don't want to do like say one or two, you know? So yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, <laughs> what was I gonna say? Something. Um. Um. Yeah, sorry, I really don't know what to talk about. Today was just so mid. It's just been such a mid day, just like every. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere's been mid. Everything's been mid. Um. Sorry, so I guess we'll go on to question of the day. And. Today's. Question of the day is uh, today's question of the day is um what's your favorite Christmas song? Do you have a favorite Christmas song? Or what's your favorite one? Or what's your least favorite one? Uh no. Uh do you like Christmas songs and like wait which is your favorite one? Or if you don't like Christmas songs, which is your least favorite one? Um I like Christmas songs, you know, um, but, you know, after hearing them, like, over and over again, it just gets so fucking boring, you know, like, play something else for once, Jesus Christ, it is unbearable, because at work, they play this fucking radio station that plays the same fucking songs, over and over and over and over and over and over and over again and it's like oh my fucking god shut the fuck up it's so annoying you know like oh fucking kill me man um but but anyway uh i don't know my least favorite one is probably uh that mariah carey one I don't even know what it's fucking, like, all I want for Christmas is you, that, that fucking song. I fucking hate that song with a passion, with a p p passion. Literally, like, it's unbearable. It is literally unbearable. Oh my god, I fucking hate that song. Because, like, uh, whenever, um, I remember a couple years ago, me and my mum, we were going down to my nan's. And it's a three-hour car drive, right? And she would fucking play, at, well, Christmas songs for three hours straight. And I was going fucking insane by the end of it. So, you know, that, that's my experience. Um, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna go cause I'm tired. <sighs> I'm really tired today. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Have a nice day. Uh, bye bye.